Next up are the North Alabama Lions. UNA graduated some serious talent last year, but they still have some serious talent in young building blocks Will Sosi and Daniel Ortiz. Hear from Sosi as he talks about his role with the team this season and the culture that surrounds North Alabama. Then, hear from Coach Tony Pujol as he talks about what it means to him that UNA is finally NCAA postseason eligible and what he's excited most about this team. Well, I think something that the coaches did very well was not just bringing great basketball players, but uh, bringing great people. So I think when you bring in high level people, you're able to create a culture that's a lot stronger than years past. And by doing that, the level of competition, the level of care, the level of unity that we have on the court every single day blends this team really well. And I think it enables us to recreate the identity that the Lions always wanted. Um, I think the biggest thing that I always strived for um, throughout my three years here is like perfecting my role. So um, this year, I want to perfect my role as a leader. I think um, continuing to be that voice on the court, on and off, um, being that rock for the guys when adversity hits. Um, so just um, growing, maturing, and um, perfecting that role. I think what's exciting about it is that I, I think it's just an exciting time to be here in Florence, Alabama, at the University of North Alabama. Um, you know, for, for us, uh, it was obviously very challenging. Uh, for like, like for every other sport in in uh, in our athletic department, but uh, what's really been fun is just continuing to build uh, the foundation of this transition uh, from day one. So, and and this team's no exception. This team has come in in June and has done a tremendous job of solidifying their foundation for Team Five. Well, I'll tell you right now what I know we have uh, is uh, we have great team basketball culture. Uh, these guys have come in since day one and have really uh, demonstrated uh, what it is to play at this level, to prepare for this level. And they've done it not just on the basketball court, they've done it in the weight room, uh, they've done it in the classroom. So to me, I think that that's just speaks volumes of who they are as people and um, how strong their unity is. I think what excites me is the fact that the unity, the way that they've come together in such a short period of time, I think that has a lot to do with the leadership that not only uh, us as a staff have, but the leadership of these players and how they create an environment of safety for all of them to just be out and uh, just participate in, in their, in their, in, at their absolute best, right? Where they can just be themselves. So um, really excited for them. Uh, can't wait for the season. Um, I think the biggest thing that I always strived for um, throughout my three years here is like perfecting my role. So um, this year, I want to perfect my role as a leader. I think um, continuing to be that voice on the court, on and off, um, being that rock for the guys when adversity hits. Um, so just um, growing, maturing, and um, perfecting that role. The North Alabama Lions battled hard on their home floor with a 6-7 and seven record inside of Flowers Hall Arena during Daniel Ortiz had a year to remember, averaging 14.4 points per game, which ranked ninth in the conference. Last year concluded the official four-year transition to Division I. Now the Lions are officially NCAA postseason eligible. The Lions get the chance to defend their home court game one against Oakwood in Florence, Alabama with 8.45 p.m. tip November 7th.